Yeah, we are on TV. It's Thursday. And it's all it's, light is all crazy today, the sun is all crazy. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. We're back in the studio. That was an exciting day yesterday, huh? Yeah. Did, did you were you on the show or did you uh, I held that baby kept dropping things for like five minutes. And then I left. It's, it's only been like 18 hours since the last time I was on the program, and I thought that was a little too much. Yeah. And how about now? It's been 24 hours? Something like that. I'm a little less time over today, so it, it works out. That's good. Um, yeah, Ernest Martinez is going to show up. Oh, no, she probably forgot. Well, what happened to yesterday or to today is uh, the new day, and what happens on the program tomorrow? Let me see when we start talking. We'll talk for an hour. So when, when was the last time you were uh, the main guest on the show, I guess? I think last time you were kind of in the background. Right? Yeah, last time I, uh, Bruce came along. I think the time before that, so like maybe mid October. Oh, Bruce, yeah. I know that Sherlia had come once with me before. How was that wedding? It was fun. Um, I don't have any footage for you just yet, but it should be up on YouTube soon. Um, but it went really well. Our professors from school showed up, which was fun. Um, it was cold, but... What did you do? I officiated the ceremony. What did you say, though? Uh, so I talked about, like... Uh, oh God, I don't even remember. I read uh, Kurt Vonnegut's graduation speech from MIT in 1997. That seemed to go over pretty well. I didn't really have anything to say, um, so I just read other people's wedding ceremonies. All right, now they're married? Now they're married. I haven't turned the paperwork to the state yet. I gotta get down to the courthouse. Did you vote? No, I'm not registered uh, in Washington. All right, here's the first message from Aviva. Hey, uh, it's Aviva calling back. I've never had a message from Cedar here to the future on the program. Um, I can really make out everything you were saying, but I'm glad he called. He's on a train. Uh, oh. I hope to be on the program soon. Right. Um, Spencer says hello. Well, he waved uh, to the phone. And, yeah, well, let's uh, get the other soon. Thanks, Aviva. Yay, see you soon. Getting off a train. She's on a trip. I thought she'd move. It's a long trip. Hey, this is Freddy. I'll just pop something on the street. I'm on I-5 for uh, 101, Highway 101 here. I'm up here right now, and I just saw somebody pull over to the side of the road in like an orange car, and then get out, go out the back of the car, and then puke all over the road. Oh. And that's uh, something I was, I was driving by, and I thought that you might want to hear about it. Talk to you later, bye. Well, Freddy saw somebody puke. <laughs> That's a good day. Yeah, we'll get into that. We'll, 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 Dan left us a real long message here. Is it about chicken? We'll find out. <laughs> hey, this is Dan calling the program. It's me calling the program. Yeah. Yeah. It's me calling the program. Hey, you know, something just occurred to me. Listening to the dial tone when you call someone, it makes that sound. You know, or whatever the sound is. Every single one that I've heard is exactly the same. The dial tone is exactly the same everywhere. What would happen if a company decided that ringing, you're calling someone, that dial tone that you're calling, what if they changed the sound? You know, made it musical or sawtooth sound or something like that. What would happen? Do you think people would freak out? Yeah, well, I was wondering about that. And um, your guests tonight are Bird and uh, a girl yeah. wearing pajamas. That was last week. Or what looked like pajamas. Uh, maybe they're just styling pants. It but it's nice to see Bird talking about banks and the other female person talking about banks. And 
No. You know, that was, that was that's your thing. So, we, uh, that so ooh, that's a good thing. You had good guests I bet it was a week ago tonight. <laughs> Jasmine, yeah. Jasmine, yeah. So, just want to call the only one for Jammers, I've only ever seen him. That this is Dan calling the program. He wants to be able to work okay. with Jammers. Okay. Thanks, Dan. I've still never met you, Dan. We need to do the program together at some point. He's here on Mondays. I so, if you want to see him, you come here. But I watch, I mean, I've, I've heard lots about Dan. I've seen that karaoke show. Yeah. Yeah, it's called Freddy asking about his speaking lady or person. <laughs> that's a guy before I assume it's a girl. Oh, mom, and I guess we're a dude thing. No? We'll find out. Okay. I, think, I don't know why I thought it was a lady. I don't know, maybe I think it's, um... I can, no, 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 more people. Hey, Freddy. Hey, Freddy. Hi, Freddy. Hey, Andy and Kenny. How you doing? Pretty good. How you guys doing? Good. I'm, we're interested in, in your your voicemail. Oh, oh yeah, dude. Yesterday I saw somebody throw up. Who who was it? What kind of person were they? Like a middle-aged lady. Oh yeah, how was that? I thought I thought I was a real lady. I, I thought it was a real lady. I did. <laughs> it was kind of. That's kind of what I was thinking. The, the, the wave machine is sending to the phone. Oh, <laughs> I think it's because they were wearing an orange. Uh, or they're driving an orange car. My landlord drove a lady's car. My landlord drove an orange car, and he was a dude. That dude was driving a lady's car. <laughs> 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 well, what, what what happened? How was it? Did she look like sick, or what do you think? No, I only got to see it for a split second because I was driving on the highway, but um, she just like, hazards were on and she like, <laughs> as I drove up, I was like, oh look, there's someone on the side of the road with their hazards on, and then she like, bolted out of the car, like, opened the door and kind of like stumbled to the, behind the car, and it was like, dark orange puke. Whoa. It matched your car? Oh yeah, it matched your car. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Brownish, but I don't know. That's all I saw. <laughs> that's that's pretty gross. I uh, hope you're feeling better, lady. If you're if you're watching the show here. Yeah, maybe uh, it could have been motion sickness, maybe. From driving, yeah, that would be bad if you. Dri- I mean, I don't know why you would be driving. So I get, no, I have motion sickness. I drive. Do you get sick when you drive? No, only oh. when I'm a passenger. Oh, then that's okay. <laughs> did, did did she have anybody else in the car with her? Oh, it was just her by herself. Oh man. Uh, I don't know what she, you think she was eating something crazy, dark, dark <laughs> orange, huh? Pumpkins? Oh, pumpkins? I think she ate too much pumpkins? Uh, pumpkin pie, no, pie? Was she, uh, a larger woman? <laughs> no, she was kind of, you know, normal middle-aged style woman. That's pretty freaky. Huh. Yeah, I don't know, it, it didn't make sense. Yeah. And but Oh, you should know about it. Look out for that stuff. I, I always see bird, uh, birds eat like they eat puke. Uh, <laughs> if it, that's what they do. Birds or bird, bird, birds? Bird, a bird, not bird. Birds. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I wouldn't want to name myself after nasty animals anyway. The birds are pretty gross. Animals. Usually. They eat a lot of puke. Have you ever seen, you seen that, Freddy? <laughs> I can't understand what you're saying. <laughs> you ever seen a bird eat puke? Did what? Did I see what puke? Well, you ever seen birds e- eating puke before? <laughs> oh, have I ever seen someone puke before? Is that the question? No, have you seen birds? The birds they like to eat puke. Ah, uh, man, sorry. Can, uh, He's not here. The like birds part. Oh, birds. 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 Bird. Oh, I've seen someone baby birds some food to another person, but they didn't puke it up. They just chewed it up first. No, yeah, but they they <laughs> eat they eat human puke though. Uh, it was pretty weird. Birds eat human puke. Oh, whatever. Okay. <laughs> well, it's better. How's the production end going? It's going good. Um, I need to capture only one more episode, and we're pretty much all caught up. Um, and then we'll be good through next week. Uh, YouTube, keeping that up to date. Um, don't have much else production end wise. Uh, working on the 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 total crew list, so if you ever um, 
wanted to be on the crew, and you said that on the show. Sometimes we didn't remember to write that down, and it's hard to keep track of all of them. So you can email us at yourdailyhourwithme at gmail.com if you want to be on the crew. Well, yeah, some people want to be on the crew. Did you? Is Angie on the crew? Want to be on the crew? No. You don't want to be on there? No. Uh, Angie doesn't want to be on the crew at all. No, I think I can take you off this. You don't have to do anything. Well, I don't have to carry anything? No. Well, then you can put my name down, I guess, uh, as long as there's no responsibilities involved. No responsibilities at all. <laughs> What? Hey, what did you Andy brought up something earlier. Hey, we should. Yeah, totally. What, 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 what was that? Are you, you're, on the, you're on the end credits. Oh, no. Oh, man. It does sound like there's some responsibility. Who's no, that? No, Isabel? No, it's Lydia. Lydia? Oh, I forgot her name. <laughs> um, you, Hi. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. We, Andrew told us it was about the intern thing. We should get back into trying to get an intern. Yeah, intern. We because need an intern. Remember the crew? The crew. I, I started saying crew instead of intern, but now uh, the crew has become nothing. It's just a list of your friends. <laughs> yeah, now the crew has become a list of people. So we need to get uh, uh, the. Um, Let's go to Evergreen and just hold up the sign and say like, we want an intern. Well, it, Andrew, will you, will you uh, help us with the crew? Yeah, I can go to the like the community opportunities office yeah. or whatever and can get you, you an actual intern. Can you be on the crew as an, as an intern wrangler? Yes, yeah, that I can All do. Right. She's going to be an intern wrangler. Uh, hey, Brianna just asked if interns could get cr uh, school credit for it, and the answer yes. is yes. Yes, yeah. they can. Yeah. So if, you are, if you're going to school and you want to be an intern... Hey, I, wonder, I just wonder how they would do that. What? They'd be able to get credit for it. I think that's like what people would be like, oh, can I get credit for this? Oh, we can get credit for it. We'll help oh. you get credit for it. <laughs> How? Oh, that's a fun one. How? It's like an internship contract. So you'd write a contract up saying you're going to do this specific work yeah, and these contracts. hours. And, uh, and then, like, Freddie, either you or, or Kenny would sign off on someone's contract. And then at the end of the quarter, you'd just be like, yes, they did a good job. Thank you. And then the person would get their credits. I'm we're writing a contract about reading. Yeah. You can get credit for anything. We don't, have to, we don't have to worry about that. Angie's the intern wrangler. That's me. She'll get us an intern. And she'll get them credit, too. We'll get them credit. Yeah. All right. Are you using the phone microphone? No. Your voice sounds really crazy. The Angie can. Uh, how, about, <laughs> how, how about now? Is it sounding better now? It's a mic. How about now? Is it sounding better now? Uh, uh, oh. Oh, is it sounding better now? A little bit, but yes. Yep, that sounds good. Sounds good, Kenny. All right, okay, Freddie. Well, thanks. We'll talk to you later, I guess. Now you're really quiet, and the uh, wave machine is back in again. But I'll talk to you soon. Uh, how about now? Yeah, but I can hear the birds for some reason. Maybe it's coming through your mic, though. Mm, I don't know. All right, bye bye. Bye. All right. What's going on with that? That's weird. Probably wrangle you, there you go. an intern by this like by winter quarter. Yeah, okay. We're gonna get an intern. How many how many interns is one? I mean, uh, do you really need two? I don't know. What are they gonna do? They'll just do whatever you tell them to. Oh, Various okay. T V production related or T V yeah, I need I need somebody duties. to watch. Uh, I want somebody to watch watch the old episodes uh -huh. and then catalog things. I mean, you can totally do that. Catalog and edit old episodes because I want to get uh, the McDonald's calls. I want to make a video where it's all those. So maybe the, you guys, the interns, you can do that stuff. Or I guess I shouldn't say what you're gonna do yet. That's a be it would be secret. But yeah, that sounds a little bit boring, but I mean, you can find it. <laughs> do something exciting. You'll do exciting yeah. things. Call the number three three zero five three six three zero two, or yeah, and then you can uh, be an intern on the program. Well, I'll come in probably sometime next week and, and talk about my findings at school and see what the the deal is with that. I'll just well, I'll come on Bruce's day. All right, forget, yeah. I wonder if Bruce is um, gonna show up. He, he, I think he had a good time last time arguing with everybody. Laser Zeppelin might show up though. Here, let's call really? Mark. Really? Let's call Mark and see about that, if, if that's going to happen. Did someone lose a shirt on the program possibly on Tuesday? Yeah, I don't know where that shirt if came from. I would have guessed, I would guess Tuesday. Let's see it is close. It's small. It's true. 
Hey Mark, it's the program. How you doing? Oh, pretty good. How are you? Hey, we're doing good. We're Angie's here. Hi. I don't think Who's I know. That? Who. I'm Angie. I don't think I know who you are. Angie? Yeah. Oh. Hi. Hi. Hey, did you get Laser Zeppelin? Are they going to come here on the 16th? We're practicing. Uh, we're practicing tonight, so I'm not going to see everyone till later, like nighttime. But. Um, but I will let you know when we're going to be able to do it. Okay, okay. Hey, but the boy is still on. Yeah, what else is going on in December? Would it, you're creating that? Yeah. Yeah, it's coming together, I think. Are you I just kind of started getting the word out yesterday, so. Um, is it going to be holidays? If play at the boy in December, give me a call. Is it going to be holiday themed? I think so, yeah. All right. Hmm. What are you eating? Sorry, I'm, at, I'm at Thriftway and they had some chips and salsa out. I had to help myself. Wait, Bayview or Ralph's? Bayview. Oh. Chips and salsa. I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, you free. got some food. All right. Oh, free food sounds yeah. good. Yeah. Okay, Mark, I guess we'll see you, <laughs> we'll see you at the thing. All right, sounds good. I'll okay, thanks. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. That was Mark. Mark, he's in Laser Zeppelin. He's on the show sometimes. He's going to come. He was going to bring Laser Zeppelin on the program with Bruce, potentially, but I guess he hasn't talked to them yet. How's Bruce? I didn't see him at the at the thing. He, I think he's been out of town. Oh, he's leaving He's leaving the Occupy. No, I don't know where he is. Where'd he go? But I think Bruce has loose morals. Why? Loose, loose Bruce. <laughs> something that would, uh, that's what I think. He. Why do, why, what makes you say that? Uh, I don't know. I just, I just hear conflicting stories from him and other people, and he seems kind of shifty. He just oh. seems kind of shifty. He's loo <laughs> loose, Bru <laughs> loose Bruce. Loose uh, Bruce. I don't really have anything negative to say about him. I don't know him that well. I really, I mean, I've seen him around town for a while. You don't but think I've he's loose though? I, <laughs> have, I don't have any evidence of that, personally. All right. Um, I don't like Bird, so pretty much anything Bird says, I believe the opposite of. Oh, so you like Bruce more than Bird? Yeah, I think so. Sorry, Bird. You're a nice guy, but you're really mean to the anarchists. To, he's mean to the anarchists? Yeah. Think he said some really nasty things to Jordy. That's Bruce wants peace, and those anarchists are having unpeaceful messages, maybe, right? Uh, but, I mean... What did he say? What did he say to them? Basically, there was some sort of... Oh... Because the you, you saw the tent that said like class war and off the cops and yeah and whatever and Bird is like super pissed and thinks that's gonna bring down the whole movement and then one of their their tags said queer sluts bring ass warfare or something like that mm -hmm. and Bird said that was abusive and that he felt personally threatened by it or something like that and I mean but some of the behavior that. Or Bird, this is Bird doing this. But some of the behavior that that I've seen Bird um, sort of use is really aggressive, and like he'll stand really close to people, and he's tall. Yeah. And he'll stand like really close to people and shout at them, which I don't really think Whoa. is very nice. He's tight. <laughs> Bruce is too tight, uptight. Bird. I mean, not Bird. Bird is uptight. Yeah. Bruce is loose. Bruce does not seem very uptight, but Bruce is loose. See, that's why Bird. That's why you don't like Bird. You don't like Bird. He's uptight. Bruce is loose. Well, okay, Liz, that's what I think. I don't, I don't know. I just, I don't, I don't know either of them very well, and they I've certainly never lived with any of them. So that's probably their own beef. It's not really my deal. They should get together on the show. On the show and hash it up because they're both like hippies, but Bruce is loose. Yeah. Bird. Sure. I don't, I'm trying to think of something that's tight but runs with bird. <laughs> but I can't really think of anything. <laughs> Things around me. Uh, well, anyway, uh, we, we should call. Let's call Bruce and see how, uh, if he's. Didn't make it out of town or not. Do you have his number? Yep. We'll remind him that he's going to be here on the 16th to see if he's going to be back. I, th I don't know if he's back or not. I know he was gone on Sunday. Where'd he go? I don't know. We'll find out here. But there was a thing immediately. <laughs> <laughs> We're we'll calling Liz Bruce. Oh, it's commercial break. Oh, yeah. Oh. Bruce. Hi, Bruce. Oh. Yep. Hey, it's the hey. program. How you doing? Good. How you doing? Who's this? It's the, it's the program. You're on TV. 
You were on TV? Yes. No, straight. <laughs> How are you doing, Bruce? It's, uh, this is Angie. I'm here, too. Hey, Angie. I'm doing good. Were you out of town? I'm the Occupy. I know. Huh? I was out of town for like four days. I was in Tucson. Oh. What's, what's in Tucson? What's in Tucson? I was at this Alliance for Global Justice meeting. It was fun. Well, you traveling around for these peace meetings? Huh? Did you tell them about the Olympia Peace Movement or me meeting? I don't know what you're talking uh -oh. about. You're coming out of broken. Uh-oh. So you're back in town? Yeah, I was out of town. It's but fun. Are you back now? Yeah, he's just I'm back. The I'm, in, I'm at the media place. Oh, wait. So you're at that place they rented, not at the actual camp, right? Well, they didn't rent it. They got it for free. Oh, well, that's nice. What's that? It's uh, the Occupy Olympia Media Office. Where's that? It's in. It's above uh, Darby's. Is it a is it a nice space there? It's a nice room with internet and computers and people are typing away. I, I don't know. It's kind of a refuge for people who want to like nerd out instead of doing you know stuff in the camp. Well, yeah, but what, what are you what are you guys doing with that with that room? I don't know. People are <laughs> typing crap and processing video crap and audio crap. I don't know. Huh. Promoting yeah. crap. All right. Well, you're scheduled to be on the show next Wednesday. Are you still going to show up? Uh, yeah, I'll show up. Two, just two o'clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At two o'clock, yeah. I want to see the yeah, media okay. studio. Yeah, okay. Time too. Yeah, I want to get a get a open a space for the program in the media studio. <laughs> if it's free. Okay. Sweet. I'll uh I'll go over there with a camera and, and snoop around and see if this got working. Yeah. I didn't know that it was free. I heard someone said that you were paying for it. They were very mad that you were misusing funds. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not misusing funds. Is somebody, do you guys have time. funding? There's the only thing I did was set it up so that uh, Occupy Olympia had a had a bank account that took in uh, eight hundred twelve dollars so far. Yeah, and That's Carol's not a dime of it's been spent. Oh, Carol is mad because she said you gave it to the Olympia wine merchants. She said someone made a donation <laughs> and they just they took it. They just took it and gave it to the Olympia wine merchants. That's that lady who was yelling about business cards. Oh yeah. Yeah, she's very angry. Does she, yeah, is she getting the finances? Uh, she's not. Somebody right. else has to hat and raise that, that money on their own. She That's said someone stole getting it. getting money from the online stuff. You're getting online money too? Yeah, maybe someone stole it. It had nothing to do with, with the online donations <laughs> though, or donations coming to the account. So, it's like totally legit. You should tell all your, all your viewers, all your huge numbers of viewers to donate. Through the website. Uh, donate to me, yeah. If you guys are gonna donate to anybody, donate to the program. Just get a, we'll buy some camera new cameras. What? You just got a new camera. They don't need money at the Occupy. They're living in tents. So what are you guys doing? You guys get free power? Get all this stuff? We don't get free power. Bruce had to pay for it. Did you pay for the? You paid for the power there? Oh, um, we had to bribe an official one time. <laughs> but that's it. That was the only time. Oh. Okay. Well, Bruce, I guess we'll see you on Wednesday then. Wait, what's going on at 3.30 today? Actually, yeah. I got an email, but I didn't read march. it. It's a march. Huge no. march. To where? To the Bank of America and Chase Bank. We're going to go and, uh, okay. yeah, yeah, we just do it over and over and over again. I know, I had to go. I really to, hate it. No, I had to go to the bank the other day, and I was I was driving over to Chase, but then I saw you guys, and I was like, well, maybe I'll just go to the bank later, because I didn't want anyone to recognize me. <laughs> <laughs> the, the yeah, well, you know, it's, so apparently, you know, someone I read an article, someone posted an article that said that uh, in October, a million people moved their money to credit unions. That's $4.5 billion, which is a 13 times increase in the amount of money that a credit union usually takes in during a month. That's a significant, that's some significant stuff. Yeah, it's, it's, those are huge numbers. Don't run out of things to talk about. You're going to be here for an hour on Wednesday. All right, <laughs> yeah, we'll see you then. Okay, bye-bye. All right, bye, Bruce. I'll see you later. Bye.
Uh, Bruce. And let's see who else. What's gonna happen tomorrow? Duck Hugger is supposed to be here. He seems he friendly, and I liked his drawings. Did they leave them? No, right? but I saw them on the on the, sh on the program. I watched it on YouTube. Here, let's call him. Let's see if he's there. Duck Hugger, do I have his name or his phone number? No, I have the dude. Is Duck Hugger on the list? Uh, uh I, I scheduled Duck Hugger without getting his phone number. Potentially, maybe we have Luke. Luke? Don't they live together? Yep, but we, I don't... Those are the things I learned from watching this show. Yeah, they live together, so maybe I gotta go back into the past. What day was that show on, do you remember? Uh, we can look at the calendar here. I don't remember. Oh, uh, it was sometime in October. So, let's see... I think it was... Like a Wednesday? We gotta look in the past. We're looking into the past, trying to find uh, the, the voicemail from Luke. What other TV shows do you like? I know you talk about Cash Cab a lot. Uh, Hi, Daily Hour. No, uh, I've been watching the all the new work. The, the Top Chef shows are on. Oh, the, uh, yeah. Work of Art show. Wh what's that one? That's the show where they do art and the people get judged on it. They do a reality show. I like the reality shows. I pretty much yeah. watch all the uh, reality shows. I'm also watching the th Thursday Night Comedies. That's going to be on tonight. You guys are watching the Thursday Night Comedies. I watch a lot of Parks and Rec. Yep. That's pretty much the best show that I've ever seen, I think. It's Ron Swanson is one of my favorite television characters. Is that one of the ones you're watching? Uh, I, I watched that one, yeah. That's on, on Thursdays. Yeah. I miss having cable. I used to like Top Chef. I, yeah. what, what messages are you talking about? <laughs> Where's Duck Hugger? I don't have. A, I don't know what happened to Duck Hugger's number. We gotta find it back here. In the past, on what day it was? Okay, let's see. We're not gonna pick the calendar. Look at the last month of the calendar here, <laughs> and then figure out what day he was on in the past. So it looks like he was on on the twenty eighth. So did they call on the 28th or did they call before? I think they called on the day that they were here. They were trying to <laughs> find the place. So if we go back, look in the past, it was on the 28th. Can I gift you guys with a calendar for next year? Yeah, the calendar would be good. I mean, we have to get one with all the, all the days on it. This calendar has a good, <laughs> some good <laughs> holidays on it. Oh, oh, I thought maybe that one was missing some days. So you wanted one with all of them instead. No, I'll get you guys a nice calendar. Do we have to know what the, uh, the day... Yeah, like uh, our our Sukkot, Sukkot discussion. yeah, yeah. We have a Sukkot special. See, uh, and today is nothing. According to this, but I, I, maybe we can find a, uh, a calendar where every day is a thing. I'm pretty sure every day is a thing somewhere. Yeah, and then you've got like different months for like National Tofu Month or something like that. Yeah, yeah. We should get the thing and tell us the themes of what everybody else is doing. Okay, if I can't find it, I'll make it for you. Life themes, yeah. yeah. I should get school credit for that. Yeah. All right. Let's see. I'm going to look at the 28th. I, mean, I see a bunch of missed calls. It's 28th voicemails. Excuse me. All right. I, looked at, oh, I was looking at the 28th, though. Hey, y'all. I just found you on the late night TV. Y'all, this is so awesome. <laughs> I'm going to watch you every damn night. I'm going to call back. I want, I want to be on your show. I'll tell you what, man. You guys yeah, are maybe awesome. we should call this guy back anyway. This is from a long while ago. but uh, He sounds like he has a very distinct southern accent. Where is Luke and Duck Hugger? They're, they are missing. They don't have the numbers. We lost them. They may be lost in the, lost in the time here forever. We'll be able to find them. Well, hopefully they'll sh he'll show up tomorrow. Yeah, yeah they're just gonna show up without getting, without knowing. Well, you don't have a time written down. We're oh, halfway through the show. Oh, we don't have a sh we don't have a time written down or anything, so <laughs> they're not gonna know. That means we'll just have to sit outside in the parking lot all day. Yeah. Hey. Oh, this is Nate. No. Nope. I had this patient almost die on me. What you do? That was Luke being crazy. I mean, that was Nate being crazy. So, oh. 
There's a reminder that he's supposed to be on, but where's his number? Well, who knows? Every time I go back, it's been messing stuff up. I'm not gonna be able to find it. What else is going on? I'm trying to think of some other topics. I don't know. I said uh, quarters running. What, what messages are you talking about? What? Uh, quarters winding down and right uh, setting a contract for for winter. That'll be nice. Um, it's beautiful outside today. That's good. The weather's back up. Yeah, it's been sunny. Oh, I got gifted with a with a plane ticket to go home for the holidays. That'll be fun. We're gonna. What is that? Are you getting a phone call? Getting a personal phone call? It's my mother. Oh, is she gonna give you a plane ticket? She did, yeah. Hold on. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm on the program. Would you like to be on the program? Yes. Sorry, I'll call you back later then. Bye. Can we talk to her before, right? Yeah. Was she, what did she think about that? Was she happy about yeah. She didn't know what anybody was saying, and she didn't understand okay. why you kept asking her about fire extinguishers. I like your show. <laughs> Yeah, I want to know about fire extinguishers. Yeah, I guess, I don't know, I don't know how I contacted Luke in the past, but maybe I, I have him on the thing, I gotta find, maybe he's on, I'm gonna look for their phone, keep looking for people's phone numbers here. The, um, I don't know what else is going on today, it's a Thursday, not too many people called, we've got a couple of them though, which are called Dan back, or uh, Aviva, which come back too. So after after Friday we have uh, Saturday. It's a weekend, so when Lewis is gonna come back. Sean's gonna come back and uh, uh, Dan. So we're getting back into the regular time. If you that'll guys be great. Yeah. If you guys are missing the uh, the regular guests here. I miss the regular guests. They're back for this weekend. Do people really put their phone numbers on Facebook? This guy does. That's crazy. We're calling you, Luke. <coughs> or I don't know if Luke is going to come here also, but he's at least, uh, at least Duck Hugger's schedule. But Luke and Duck Hugger, they're kind of the same person to me. Hello? Hey, Luke. Uh, yeah? Hey, it's the program. Hi. It is the program, isn't it? Yeah, you're <laughs> on TV. How you doing? <laughs> all right. You doing all I'm right? I'm what? I, I, I just woke up. What? <laughs> it's late, Luke. What are you sleeping? What time do you go to sleep? Like, uh, 7 or 8. This morning? In the morning. What were you doing? Well, I'm just, uh, you know, trying to, trying to get some sleep in the, in the daytime. <laughs> did, did, you see the, did you see the sunrise? Yeah. When the sun comes up, I get all tired. <laughs> Hey, uh, you guys, you gonna come to the show tomorrow? Duck Hugger is scheduled, but I can't find Duck Hugger's number. Can't find Duck Hugger's number? He's scheduled for tomorrow. Are you gonna come tomorrow also with, with him? Yeah, yeah. What time? Yeah, that's right. What time? How about in the afternoon? Can you guys do the afternoon? It doesn't sound like Luke can do the mornings. Yeah, I can't do the morning. How about, how about the afternoon? Yeah. Like, like three... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Can you can you wake up by then? <laughs> yeah, I, I I can make an exception for you guys. Okay. How about okay? So here at three o'clock tomorrow for you two. Okay. That's right. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, anyone? What? You can't. <laughs> you couldn't find Duck Hugger's number. It's the same one you've just called. This we is Duck Hugger. You guys have the same phone number? Yeah. You guys have a house phone, huh? Yeah. You don't have a cell phone? <laughs> yeah, I do. Oh, but you use the house phones. Do you guys, you guys pay for phone service in your apartment? Yep. yep, yep, yep. Whoa. So are you talking to an actual phone then? Like, a, is it a uh, cord, corded phone? Yep, 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 it's stuck to the wall and everything. What? <laughs> That's exciting. Now, are your, your phone number is on, on Facebook. Why did you choose to do that? Because I don't care about uh, lack of privacy in those matters. It's just his home phone anyway, so he can just call at home. You can't call him wherever you Right, that's even worse though, because I can turn my cell phone off. You can unplug your phone. True. Don't worry, hardly anybody ever calls here. I want to get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, <laughs> we have this number. Nobody, nobody ever calls this number, and it's up here every day, uh, for an hour on TV, and almost nobody calls the number anyway. 
unless they had other other business to call for. So, call this number, everybody. You can call or don't don't call this number. That's what I've been saying. Don't call <laughs> this number. If you call this number, I will have a problem. Something bad will happen to me if you call the number. Don't call it. Well, John Webster read his phone number a bunch of times on the air. Did he oh ever get any calls? No one ever called. called him. Well, that's Nobody's too bad. calling these people. I don't know why. I'm wor- sometimes they get worried about it. I'm like. No, don't say your number, but nobody calls the numbers. Nobody even calls the number that's <laughs> on the screen the whole time. So. It's because no one believes it's Olympia. It's oh, yeah, we're, <laughs> we're actually local in, in Olympia. <laughs> that, that was my problem, because I used to watch it, and I didn't know where it was taped. I always, because I always 330 is an Ohio number. Yeah, i got to change it. <laughs> Ohio. <laughs> i got to get... Maybe I should get a uh, another logo. I guess we already have enough logos to start filling the screen <laughs> with more information, though. Well, okay, look, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, Luke. Okay, tomorrow. Three o'clock. Three o'clock. <coughs> okay, bye-bye. Okay, bye. Oh, there he goes. That was Luke. Seems nice. Thanks, Luke, yeah. Well. How did you meet those guys? Uh, They are the uh, TCTV people, kind of, okay. I think. Or Luke, how did Luke... Yeah, he's on. Yeah, he does dance o dance. They do dance o dance. Oh, oh, okay. Because I always thought it was like you've just got this this huge your daily hour family, and I think it's kind of interesting to hear how people got like dragged into it, you know, or not dragged, but no, everybody can be. You guys can just call the number and you can get on the show. It's pretty fun. Well, right, but it seems legitimately. It seems like most of the people on the show are your friends or Freddie's friends. True. Well, yeah, after <laughs> you're on the show, then you're my friend. Well, maybe. Okay. No, I don't know who else to get on here. I mean, I'm trying to get the public on here. I always say that, but nobody wants to call in and do the thing. So I just say, I just always, I guess we just end up saying it to whoever we're around. Well, you need to go set up a table or just set up your equipment at Evergreen yeah. one day during lunch and just be like, hey, everybody at school, you're on television. Yeah, well, we're doing fine. I, I, no, I, I know you're doing fine, but I think that if you want more people to watch, these kids all have cable in the dorms. Yeah, well, my plan is to just keep going with it, and I think it'll just develop itself and I don't, I don't need to put any effort into it <laughs> that's what I've always been saying so after I mean after you know it's only been a year after a couple of years it should uh, just do it on its own I mean it seems like it well, it seems like it's kind of running itself yeah you carry things around but your interns will fix that yeah well if anybody wants to do some tabling or any kind of uh, volunteer service at all for us we can use a, a lawyer or a chef <laughs> or a janitor or a, a, a athlete or a <laughs> an athlete <laughs> Yeah, anything like that, you guys can be, uh, come on to the show and help us out. What exactly do you need a lawyer for at this point? Well oh, you're trying to incorporate. Yeah, I'm trying to incorporate, yeah. but once we get once we get the, the people who do the things, then we figure out what they can do. <laughs> anyway, lawyers, can they can help you get the, they can help you get money. True. We could, uh... You need a grant writer is what you need. Yeah, we could, if I had a lawyer, then I, would, I could say more inflammatory things without worry, being worried about, uh getting in trouble legally. Well, I think you should just start saying inflammatory things. If you need a lawyer, one will yeah. show up. I don't have anything inflammatory to say. <laughs> but I, I, would, I would start making stuff up maybe if I had a lawyer. Oh. Uh, I think you need a lawyer and then... A chef. Yeah, lawyers, because they can also uh, write contracts and we could write contracts and have people sign contracts. <laughs> uh, yeah, that would be fun. That sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, they can... They would, they would tr- they maybe try to steal... If we had a lawyer, they would try to steal the uh, idea of the show and uh, claim it that they made the show, and then they would try to uh, get us to work for them eventually, because they're they would be uh, backhanded, you know. That sounds uh, sounds like you've been thinking about this a lot. <laughs> I'm I know I'm I'm just thinking about it right now. Okay. I have not I have not, I have not thought about this a lot. <laughs> uh, here, let's go. Let's call McDonald's here. We can call one in uh, Chicago. Very uh, sure. We'll try Staunton, Illinois. Stout, Staunton? S T A U N. T O N. Oh, commercial break. This is going quick. Like, it's not true, but it is. You, you start to realize it becomes harder and harder to function. 
YDHWM. 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 Every night, 11.30 p.m. Let's hear the letters of the title of the show. Make your life better. Make your YDHWM. life better. YDHWM. 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 Every night, 11.30 p.m. Your daily hour with me. YDHWM. Your daily hour with Here, turn your head so it's your, it does to your fish. Put your head. Oh. <laughs> no, it's good. I'm glad you guys got that fixed or wasn't that what was broken? Uh, no, I don't know what that is. It's got some pretty terrible reviews, though. Only two stars. Thank you, Tom. Hello. My mic was, my mic's been off this whole time. At least for a while. Oh hello? McDonald's? Are you there? Alright, let's call McHenry. Yeah, McHenry McDonald's. I know where that is. You been there? No. But I know I know where it is. I feel like someone I went to film it with moved out to McHenry. What's the, what's the, what do they have there? Farms. Uh, we're calling them. Hey, McDonald's, do you guys have those autumn milkshakes? Oh, hello? That was rude. I was just asking a regular question. And they hung up. I feel like you can have a lot of very valid customer service complaints about all these McDonald's <laughs> that you call. Yeah, they like to hang up, call them, and I just ask them regular questions. And if... I mean, you've called me, and it sounds pretty terrible. Maybe they just can't hear you. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe we should try to do some sound sound checking. I don't know how this is going to sound. I don't know how this is going to sound. <laughs> yeah, see, it sounds like that, so... <laughs> that's, uh... Too crazy. They can't understand that, yeah. That was, that's a what they see over here, so I'm trying to get this thing. It's uh, on the computer. It's uh, on the computer. Uh, this is a sound check. I think we're going to sound pretty crazy there. So, I'm going to try to turn this up or try to get it to work better. I don't know what to do. Uh, this is a sound check. I think we're going to sound pretty crazy there. So, I'm going to try to turn this up or try to get it to work better. I don't know what to do. Oh, man, yeah, maybe <laughs> it's like this. Is that echo on purpose? Oh, the echo is, is uh, not... They can't hear the echo. They can't hear the echo, but we can hear it. They can't hear the echo. They can't hear the echo, but we can hear it. Wow. <laughs> Why is it so crazy? Maybe it's double crazy, but I'm not really sure. How crazy is it going to go? Is it, maybe this will sound better. Nope. Now it's off. Well, 
Let's see. I don't know what to do. To get, sound? to get it to sound nice and sane. Huh. Sometimes it just it sounds better. We just have up and down. Just goes up and down. Up and down. We gotta turn this thing down. Get the better sends to go. Maybe we should do the. Uh, it's like this thing. This thing's all sending. They're all sending out. Oh, did you guys talk about 1183? Oh yeah, there's gonna be liquor at stores. It passed. I'm so excited. Even though I didn't vote. I'm excited about it. You're happy about liquor in stores? Yes. I'm so excited. Even though I didn't vote, I'm excited about it. Yeah. Yeah, you sound better than on the on the phone, but I don't know what that's from. Because I was gonna make this fake commercial about 1183. Yeah. Oh. Did I tell you about this? What, no. What, what? Oh, it was gonna. You know how they can like blur out your face and make your voice sound all crazy. It was gonna be like. I'm just going to have some random person do it be like, I support 1183 because I buy alcohol for minors and I'm tired of making so many trips. Like, I think that's a valid reason and everyone's ignoring those people. Not anymore because it passed. Yeah, that's going to be liquor at gas stations. It's, gonna be a pretty it's not gas stations, though. It's oh. only stores over 10,000 square feet. What? Yep. Like a Costco. Well, how big is 10,000 square feet? I don't, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out if it's Ralph's, but... Um, if not, it's got to be Safeway or Albertsons. Gas stations. That's the only reason I wanted the, nothing to happen. You should have read the bill more carefully. <laughs> no, but I mean, when it pa- when it didn't pass the first time, it didn't have the 10,000 square foot thing. But then everyone was mad because they said that kids would be able to buy beer or not beer, but like hard liquor at, at gas stations. And then Costco, being a giant store, said, "Hey, well, what if we put in this? It has to be more than 10,000 square feet." What? Thing. Yeah. That's unfair. I mean, if, they, <laughs> if they had liquor stores, they can't have a gas station, but they can have a bigger store. That's that's pretty best messed up. Well, that's what everyone just voted for. You know what? That's so. the worst. Oh man, <laughs> they need to do a law to get liquor in the gas stations because now it's like a weird, like privatized thing like that. Yeah, it's only the people that can afford to sell it. But I mean, I don't even know if Ralph's is gonna sell it because they're kind of crazy and moralizing. So, I mean, they lose a ton of money if they didn't. But there's other products that they choose not to sell. Is we start selling liquor now? Wait, wait. We just gotta have a big, really big store, though. <laughs> what if we have a really big store, but only like two shelves of, of liquor? That's all we sold. And you could probably do that. It's like a bar, but. But I'm pretty excited because now I can import liquor from other states to my house. What, you couldn't do that? Before? No, you weren't allowed to ship alcohol to, to Washington. But now you can ship it in the mail? Yeah, because I'm trying to get my friend from Chicago to send me a couple bottles of Malort. Um, it's like this really disgusting Chicago alcohol. It's really only made in Chicago, and only people in Chicago drink it. It tastes terrible. It's like earwax and tire fires. What's uh, what's it? What's it made out of? Uh, I don't know. It's uh. Is it like whiskey? No, it's its own. It's its own drink. Like it's not a whiskey or a scotch. It's a malort. Um, it tastes a little bit like absinthe. I guess there's wormwood in it, but malort? yeah. Malort is it French? M A L O R T. I don't know what it is. Malor. No, it's from Chicago, so probably not unless someone is trying to be haughty. But my friend is going to mail me a couple bottles of it, and then you should have people drinking it on the program because people make the strangest faces when they drink this stuff because it tastes awful. Is it super cheap? Uh, it's like 18 bucks a bottle, so no. But. Huh? I'll tell you in a second. Oh, after, after McDonald's call? <laughs> yeah. Oh, the phone's ringing. Oh, it's just, uh... McDonald's is what I'm speaking. Hey, McDonald's, do you guys have those autumn milkshakes? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yes? Hello? Hey, do you guys have the autumn milkshakes? Yeah, eggnog shake, yes, we have the eggnog shake. Eggnog? Oh, do you know how much of that you're going to have left? Uh, we have, like, uh, maybe two gallons. Oh, okay, thank you. Goodbye. Two gallons. The fun thing about this Malort stuff is that it's it's made in Chicago, or it was made in Chicago, or but it's like a Chicago Pride sort of thing. Like everyone knows it tastes gross, and they just sort of trick their friends into drinking it to watch the faces that they make. That's weird. No, it's fun. It's I don't know. I miss I miss home a lot, and discussing flavored alcohol will make me feel better. The Chicago joke. Yeah. Okay. But when I get it in the mail, I'll bring some for you to try. Yeah. Do you drink? Sometimes I gotta get I gotta get a, the uh, time a timer. I don't know how much time's left on the show. One of the VCRs uh, fell down, but 
Now it's going on. I mean, when the countdown starts, we'll know we have to be quiet. Yeah, that's only a minute. We have a minute to go, but now we don't know how long we have. I don't know what the biggest finale is. I think it's coming up soon. It's pretty exciting. It's only a guess. I think it's about... This might be... Are we, this is from... Did we start at negative time or not? I don't know. It counted up to five and then down from five a couple times before it started counting up again. What? Yeah. That's confusing. <laughs> You guys need all sorts of stuff here. A timer, a calendar, an intern. Whoa. You should just have an intern a new computer. to keep your <laughs> new computer to keep your clock. We just want to blue screen a debt. Yeah, just think that's all the intern we're going to do is sit there with a the stopwatch. Yeah. Um, but it's... Uh, the actual time right now is 3.22. I think people don't really realize always what time this is taped or the fact that it's taped here. And that's interesting. Like the show from two days ago, if you were watching, where there was like 75 people in the studio and everyone was uh, excited. Yeah, it was like 10:30 at night. Oh yeah, yeah. We shoot the ch show whenever. It's not live. It's hyper live, so we can go any time in the day. Uh, yeah. So we're, and we're in the studio. We're at 1063 Capital Way. You guys can just show up here if you want. It's kind of an open spot. Uh, it's right next to the Capitol building. So if you guys are in the Thurston County area, go to the State Capitol. We're right next to the State Capitol. I don't know. We miss those people getting arrested. They're right outside the studio. Um, yeah, I missed it too, which is strange because I'm a legal observer and no one bothered to call. But then I saw on the agenda a couple days ago, I got a phone call and it was like, oh, there's legal ob legal observing is on the agenda. So Charlia was down there and she was just like trying to figure out what they were going to talk about. And then what they had to say was the fact that there should be legal observers down there 24 hours a day. So what, were those people still in jail? Do you know about that? Or? I'm assuming they got out. No one called. I don't know who they were. But, um... But no, so they want legal observers there 24 hours a day, which is ridiculous because the people that got arrested knew they were going to get arrested. They planned to do that. And if they would have called us, we would have been down there. I don't really need to be present 24 hours a day to sleep in a hippie camp. Can't they have other people be the legal advisors that are staying there? Yeah, probably. I could do some trainings and get people up to, up to speed. Yeah, what are you doing over there? <sighs> They're doing nothing. Drum circles. If you like drum circles, Occupy Olympia has plenty of them. But I saw that um, Eugene from Gogo Bordello was out at the, the one in Vermont, which was fun. So if you know anybody relatively famous, you should have them come to Occupy Olympia. Yeah, that's kind of a, he's, he's kind of a hippie guy, I, right? I really like him. Do you, you I don't know who they are, but they seem kind of... It's like, like gypsy punk, so... Yeah, it seems like that's where... I mean, they're kind of gypsy... Yeah. They're still gypsy, it seems like. Fits it fits in well with the, uh, the the groups down here. But I think you might like them. I don't know. They're good. They put on a good live show. All right. Well, I'm getting back and logging with the computer. We got logged out. But I'm making another phone call, I guess, or something. Probably have about 15 minutes left on the show. I, I don't think, think there's anywhere near that much time. Less time? Because the second commercial break was more than five minutes ago. Oh, yeah. We only have like five minutes left on the show. It's a like guessing around, and we did it again. We we're episode like 415 or something like that. We go on the TV every day. We'll be back tomorrow, and you go watch the show. You guys are watching the show at 2 a.m. too. We're doing the anthology thing. You can tune in at 2 a.m. and see uh, last year. So see what we're doing last year. We're doing about the same thing. Or next year. Oh yeah, if you guys watching are watching this, yeah. it'll be wow. Yeah, we might be talking next year. If you guys are watching this next year, remember last year and all the stuff was happening. Remember how the Occupy Olympia that changed everything. <laughs> now we're not we're no longer living in a uh, capitalist society. Probably we still are, because otherwise we wouldn't be Comcast Cable. We want to watch it on TV. Oh. I guess we'll call more McDonald's if we have time to say you know, and I don't have any other subjects or topics. I'm trying to think of some other topics, but sometimes I think I should plan topics or things, you know, before the show starts, but then... I mean, I think we talked solidly for like 40 minutes straight, and then we just sort of ran out of steam at the end. Yeah, well, yeah, it's hard, you know, anybody can do a, a half-hour show, but the second half, uh, that's where it starts getting... That it starts, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a test. It's a test to do the show every day, and so we, we get through it, and we get through it every day. Also, as long as we don't stop talking, you know, we started the show off as a radio show, mm -hmm. and then back then I was just said, uh, you know, we're just going to keep talking, because otherwise the show won't exist. So it's like, I mean, now that we're on video, we've been on video most of the time, but it's kind of, oh, it's kind of like a crutch to see the video, you don't have to say anything, but, because you're on a radio show, if you stop talking, 
then there's no, there's no show. <laughs> so it's kind of like that still. There's uh, like 20 or 30 of those archived on your website, right? Yeah, yeah. so you just got to keep talking to prove you're here. Sometimes I think about going back to a radio show, I mean, it, would probably, it would just be uh, like this. <laughs> oh, this McDonald's is the internet. <laughs> Uh, Where did you broadcast the radio show from? From the internet. Oh, okay. It was not real radio. I just said radio. It was fake radio. No, it's real radio. Uh, no, there's no radio signals. If it's radio, it's supposed to be a... Uh, what's the thing? Like over the air. We were not on the air at all. Did you have live listeners? I, I don't know. It's hard to tell. So we're calling with uh, McDonald's here. You guys are listeners. We probably got more listeners now, though. You guys go check out that uh, the episodes on the internet there. Hey, hey McDonald's. Do you guys have those pumpkin pies? Yes, sir. Oh, you do. Uh, you know how much longer you're gonna ha- have those for? Oh, uh, we're have them for a little bit. Oh, okay. That sounds good. Thank you. Uh huh. Okay. Bye bye. Oh. It sounded very southern. That was Knoxville, Tennessee. <laughs> it was, yeah, you called it, you knew. Um, yeah. But no, I was, I was watching the YouTube channel the other day, and it seems like, you know, 10 to 15 people watch the shows on the internet. Yeah. Plus however many thousands of people are watching on their, on their TVs. Yeah, and they watch it every, that's the 10th per, per episode. So I think we get different people, so we have a good viewership on, on the internet there. You guys are watching the show. When, uh... We're on the partner program on YouTube, and you guys can get on there too. And thanks for watching YouTube. If you guys are watching that thing, it's uh, any time. You can say stuff down there. We're also on TV, so we're uh, yeah, we're doing both of the things. Do you guys have a sponsored YouTube channel? Yeah, we have a sponsor. We're sp- we have a partner program. How does that work? Because they sent me an email talking about that, and I didn't know if I should pay any attention to it. Uh, I wanted to get the banner. I got the banner now, mm-hmm. so you can get the banner. But you have to be a uh, no, you have to follow their guidelines or the copyright guidelines and stuff. But I, I haven't noticed any negative effects, but sometimes they, people say that they're going to steal your content or something. But Oh, uh, well, I mean, I just do that that wine show. Oh, yeah. I don't know why YouTube would want anything are you to do that. Are you, are you, is it popular? I don't know. I don't think anyone other than my creepy friend Casey watches it. Well, check but out this wine show. Where's the wine show? Uh, it's called Olga and Angie's Drink a Gallon of Cheap Wine Challenge. You can find this on YouTube. Just Google or uh, YouTube search that thing. Yeah. There's like 10 or 15 different episodes. Freddy's on a lot of them. Cedar's on a lot of them. Some of them are from Lewis's house. So basically we just drink wine with our friends and talk about wine. It sounds like what the uh, yesterday, was that yesterday or two days ago? Was, oh yeah, two days ago. Cedar's birthday? Yeah, Cedar's birthday is going to be like that. Um, kind of. It's generally pretty quick and all the bottles of wine are less than 10 bucks. And we generally just talk about wine. The episodes are only like a minute and a half long, so oh. it's a good, good, good deal. I've had fun doing it. All right, that's good. Are you gonna come, come back here next week with Bruce on the yeah, 16th? Yeah, as well. I'll be on next Wednesday. Tune in for that. Bye right. bye. Thanks for watching. Watch on YouTube. I didn't realize that Hell Yeah Dog was John. Was John's hot dog stand? I don't know what that place was. Yeah, it's John's hot dog stand. That's exciting. He seemed very nice. I've never met him before. So hello, John. If you're watching, it was nice to meet you. Yeah, thanks, John. He's hell yeah, dog. Thanks. Uh, this is the day. Thanks, crew. You wanna be on the crew? Email us or call a number. Angie's an intern wrangler right now. Yeah, that's exciting. I can always use help. Thanks, Le Bebe. I don't know what that place is. Hell yeah, dog. Hell it's yeah. A clo- Check out Le Bebe. Just Google search. It's on the internet. She sells clothes, makes clothes stuff. Hell yeah. Bye-bye. Bye.